And we stay with unusual appetites for our next weird event, which is truly amazing. We're crossing the border from Holland to Germany to the outskirts of Hamburg, where in 2005 a small pond became the focus of international shock and revulsion. About a thousand dead toads were discovered lying around the edges, their bodies appearing to have exploded. Eyewitnesses said they swelled up to about three and a half times their normal size and then simply burst. And they burst with such an explosive force that their entrails were blown over several square metres. Nice. The amphibians affected were European common toads and the carnage took place in April, around the time when they were spawning. Scientists initially thought that foreign racehorses at a nearby track might have brought in a virus or an infection, but when they tested the water and the toads, they found absolutely nothing. The location was dubbed the Pond of Death. And then things escalated as the death spread across the border to a nearby Danish lake. What could possibly be causing these gruesome events? Eventually, scientists came up with a theory that implicated these types of birds and placed them at the centre of this mystery. You see, corvids like this raven are amongst the most intelligent of birds. If you want to know just how clever they are, take a look at these extraordinary Japanese crows. You see, they had some tough nuts to crack, walnuts to be precise. They realised they needed some help, so they were dropping them onto the road and using cars to crack them open. Pretty brainy. But retrieving them was dangerous. So these avian masterminds took it one stage further. Just look at this. They started deliberately dropping them onto pedestrian crossings so they could collect the contents of the nuts when the traffic stopped. Come on, that is pretty clever. But what have highly intelligent birds got to do with exploding toads? Well, when scientists examined the corpses of the toads, they found a couple of interesting things. Firstly, a tiny beak-shaped mark just above where the toad's liver should be. And then when they looked inside, they found that the liver was missing. And what it appears that had happened is that the local crows had learned to peck the liver out through the body of the toad and thus avoid its toxic skin. No one knows how they learned where the liver was located, but we do know that toad skin is so poisonous that many animals can have a fatal reaction to it. But the liver is so nutritious, it's worth working out how to extract it safely. Now, when toads are attacked by predators, their natural response is to swell up and make themselves as big as possible, so it looks as if they'd be impossible to swallow. But of course, with the liver missing and without a diaphragm, those lungs just swelled and swelled and swelled until in the end, they simply exploded. Clever birds, Corvids. So, the mystery of the exploding toads was finally solved by smart detective work and it was the crow's refined taste for toad liver that was to blame. But if you thought those poor toads had it bad, Wait until you see what our next weird...